welcome back to Hermitcraft. Well, I've got a little bit of work done here. I've got this area cleared out for where the station is eventually going to be. I'm not sure if it's going to go mostly that way or back that way or what, but I'll figure it out. And uh, I've kind of prettied up the area for the uh, spider spawner here a little bit. Got the redstone lamps in to replace the torches. I still need a few more lamps, but I'm getting there. And I'm thinking that this stairway that goes down here, I'm going to move it. I'm going to have a entryway there, and the stairway will go down from off the side there somewhere, because this is kind of awkward having to walk around it. Uh, I have discovered that... Uh, it seems that as of a recent ma a recent patch or update or something that uh, spiders do not track you through the blocks anymore. And so that's not really an issue. I did uh, try, as someone suggested, to put a water curtain up here to keep the spiders and wash them down. And uh, the problem is that all that accomplished was to mess up the water streams down there and actually push them back in there under the spawner. And that's no good. So I had to take that back out. And uh, this seems to be sort of all right. It, it does work. Okay, that's closed. So turn the light off. And I stand around in here, say, right on top of this. And they spawn every minute or two. They do work their way into position down there. And I also used another suggestion uh, from the comments. That underneath here, the tunnel that leads to down there is uh, on the ceiling, inverted stairs. And it, uh, they, you know, they go from up here to down there to down there and to gradually force them into uh, the bottom block down here like so. And then uh, once I open the door, they come in here, they end up going up there, although some of them are a little stubborn because, uh, as someone pointed out, there is a percent chance of uh, any given spider being a climber. And if he's a climber, it's going to be a little bit trickier to get him to cooperate. But uh, at least it's working more. I have found that if I get within a block of that thing when there's a spider in there, I will get bit. And that's why I've got the sign up there. Caution, they bite. Along with the signs for the controls. But it works. It's not ideal by a long way but it does work they spawn they end up in here i kill them i get drops i get string i get experience uh, it's not super efficient by any stretch As you see there's these guys that won't go up top side probably wouldn't until they were pushed by some of their other kind See, I was standing a good block away from that thing and got bit. So let's close the door. And now I'm going to get over the, uh, the poison jolties. I'm going to go ahead and get the XP. I bloody well earned it, even if it isn't much. And uh, I've also cleaned up the area down here. Line it all with stone, make sure it was well lit, and some stone brick in there to kind of break it up a little bit, and so on. So it's doing better. I still need uh, to do something with the ceiling here and uh, close off that uh, hallway to the uh, abandoned mine shaft up there. And then I need to get this uh, station going here on this end but that's okay i'll get to that uh i'm still toying around with station ideas and i'll get something figured out okay uh 
As for up here, uh, I am still trying to come up with a decent idea, a decent design, something I can actually see in my head, you know? Because if you can see it in your head, you know, visualize it in your mind, then it's so much easier to build because you already know what it's supposed to look like. But the idea here is I'm thinking at this point that to have a bridge from here over there to Crown Hall Island. And uh, what I want to do is start out down here from an underwater situation and then come out this way a ways and then come up out of the water and head over to the island. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, wow. Whoa, wow. What's that? Oh, wow. This place is amazing. <laughs> and uh, I have to finish shaving the eyeball. It needs more hair. And as someone pointed out, it has the eye. It has the pupil. It has the, uh, the lens in the middle. It needs an iris. So uh, I want to see about doing something about that. So let's head up here. Make sure I've got all the stuff I need. I probably do, but let's go ahead and make sure. What? Okay. Happy birthday to me from Mumbo. Okay. You know, I've heard of people giving gifts on their birthday instead of receiving them. So that's what he's doing here. Okay. Well, let's open this thing up and uh, see what we got here. That was cake. And a diamond. Cool. That's awesome. Excellent. I think I'm just going to put this right here and uh, think of something suitable to do for that because uh i know a secret about cake you can't pick it up <laughs> so i'm gonna have to think of something to do for that that looks too that's too cool did not expect that at all okay let's see what do i got here tons of crap all right it's not crap but I got tons of it, none the sa nonetheless, none the same. Oh, that that reminds me. I was going to do something about uh, item delivery down there. All right, I'll catch you back down there. All right. Yeah, I knew there was a uh, reason I wanted to start down here it was because I wanted to do something about automating the loot collection. All right. Let's make sure. All right, we're turned off. All right. Silk so touch. Let's open the door. Ah. Maybe I need to rig a second control down below. What do you think? All right. Wow. I don't have any water on me. Okay, we'll do this. There. Which occurs to me, that's an idea right there. To break this, these two blocks here, have the water come down a block, and I don't know if I want to mess with that. I think for right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the chests here. And then we can run a hopper into it, a hopper into that one. And this hopper into that one so that all the loot ends up in the chest. All right. Okay, that should take care of that. Oh, wait a minute. Wait just a minute. This is where they're going to get killed at. Because when these close, they won't be able to get there. Okay.
So then it's a lot simpler. Hopper there too. All right. All right. Oh, that's ugly. Okay, it may need a little bit of revising. Maybe move that circuit down a couple of blocks and uh, put stone over the top of it. But for the time being, I'm just going to cover it with some stone brick. Yeah, that's not good. All right, let's see here. I got some stairs. Would that be useful? Can I get to the chest now? Yes, I can. Excellent. Okay. Let's break this and throw some stone brick there to make it even. Even though the rest of the place isn't, that means I'd have to stone brick the rest of the floor in here, which is not a problem. All right. I was I will call that pretty much essentially solved for the most part for right now. Now I'm going to get some things together and uh, I'm going to head up into the eye because, uh, well, the person whose name I can't remember right now because I'm terrible with names, was right. It needs an iris. I think I've got everything together now. I had to run all the way back out to the farm and pick up some more lime wool. Okay, let's start by just heading up. Oh, God. One of these days, I'm going to fix this thing up and make it easier to get access. Okay. Uh, first of all, off, this stuff needs to be trimmed. Apparently, I missed some. So let's get up here a ways. Uh, quite a ways more. This is one of those times when I think it might be good if I had a camera account so that I could position a camera out there somewhere in a position that could see everything. And that would just be so much better, you know? It would make for a better recording, too, I believe. All right, string... Okay, I think that's the right ones. Okay. Now, I need to get up there around the edge and place a lot more of these vines. But I think what I'm going to do for right now, tear this down is I'm going to get up there to the eye, to the top of it. No, I'm just going to tear this down. And uh, start working on something that at least approximates an iris. And I'll catch you up there. Here we go. Now we just head up in here. What? What's this? Whoa. Symmetry Springs Sparkling. Okay. Symmetry Springs shop opening. This is a free sample. Hey, cool. Excellent. What do we got here? Symmetry Springs Sparkling. Sparkling what? 
<laughs> okay, that's cool. I think I'm just going to leave it right there in the item frame for the moment. How about that? Okay, and I'll check that out later. That would be false symmetry. Cool. All right, uh, let's see. It would have to be out here around... I didn't think to bring shears. Jeez. Alright, let's just scaffold out there a little bit. Now, since the eye itself is this lime green, I would say the iris would be better to be the dark green. Yeah. All right, let's just start by putting it around the uh, pupil, as it were. That is better. And I'm thinking probably two passes around. Yeah, two layers going around. All right. Yeah, I think that's a good start for the top here. All right. Let me move my scaffolding. And I will finish up around that side and down around the bottom. And then we'll have another look. All right, here was what we got looking at it from high atop the crown tower here. Crown Hill, Crown Hall, whatever you call it. Uh, it doesn't quite look... Per it looks just a little bit squinched or lopsided or something there. I can't say quite exactly. But I'm not any good with that sort of thing. I... I never have been. The only reason I was able to make the sphere is I found a template for it online. And uh, anyway, I think it still looks reasonable, sort of. And I added about another half a stack of vines to it. So uh, that should get a little better looking once they've had a chance to grow down to uh, as far down as the rest of them are. And then I'll have to make another trip up there to apply string and trim the length. But that will be another time. I want to start thinking about what I'm going to do inside that thing. Because I do want to set up shop in there to actually build a base or perhaps even a home inside of it. So that's, I think, what I'm going to be thinking about next. So I'm going to head out there and... Uh, Oh, by the way, I'm thinking that what I want for a way up there is going to be something like this contraption. It's pretty cool, nice and automatic working, and uh, for ways to go vertical, this is pretty good. I'm thinking I'm, I might think about making it a little bigger around, because this one makes me a little dizzy to use. But we'll see. First, I got to look up uh, something on how to build the sucker. But, ah, oh, me and narrow passages. 
yeah, I think that looks better. And uh, it will be looking better as more of those vines grow down and then I trim them up a little bit. This place is looking awesome. The, the daylight sensors on the lamps, that, that's great. Automatic lighting. The water bit there and all the, Yeah, this place is awesome. <laughs> You've got the Hermit Hill sign. Mumbo's balloon. Understand it was his birthday recently. Oh, of course. It was, duh. The, you know, the present thing. Yeah, gotcha. This place really is awesome. All right. It's almost intimidating to be uh, around these people that make these amazing, ultra awesome, amazing amaze builds. And uh, what do I have? A hairy eyeball. <laughs> but I think the hairy eyeball has its own amazing factor, at least in my biased opinion. And uh, it will get better as time goes on. Meanwhile, I'm going to start, I'm going to get a few things together and uh, start trying to flesh out the skeleton of the inside. An eyeball with a skeleton. Now there's an idea. I was just looking through my stuff here, and I have run myself completely out of wood. So I'm going to have to run down to the other end of my track and uh, farm up some wood there because I want to use the dark oak because I think it's going to look good in the uh, rather bright uh, lime green environment of the interior of that place. And so I've got a nice handy place down there at the other end to farm up all the dark oak I want. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to call this a, a short episode, but that shouldn't be a problem. And uh, next time... We'll get started and get some construction going on inside the eyeball. How about that? Living in an eyeball. I like that idea. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.